something about you seems different. I can't quite figure it out. She got legs, you idiot. And you've recently been working on The Little Mermaid. Is there anything you could say about how you approached designing a real life mermaid? I don't know how to describe, you know, a fictional creature like that. How, did that affect the way you designed costumes? Is there anything you can say about it? Well, in Little Mermaid, we have the world above the water and we have the world under the water. So we kind of wanted them to be kind of symbiotic in a way that you wouldn't be aware of so much. So, so there, there's that going on with motifs above the water that sort of tie in with the underwater world texturally and color wise and, and things like that. And then there's Ariel and she has a family and a father and you know, so we have the seven sisters from the seven seas. So we were going to all these aquariums on field trips, watching fish move, watching how, you know, undersea life and all that. And I was like, my take on it was that each sister of the seven seas design as a mermaid costume was based and influenced by a fish from the sea they're representing loosely. So that was my inspiration kind of starting off point for their costumes. So I took fish designs. I mean, you could design fabric off fish for the rest of your life. And and that sort of was where I started with them and how I evolved their their looks and also their hair and their whole thing, you know, just kind of incorporating that. And then we had an amazing experience on that show in the beginning um, for Rob, who, you know, has a heavy knowledge and experience in the dance world. We had a group of the Harlem Ballet came in and we had a choreographed dance thing that represents like the musical numbers underwater. So the visual effects guys could actually film that and make it more more like the combination of it in live action and in, in the film. And they came in and, you know, it was just a rehearsal deal, but I couldn't resist like doing like costumes <laughs> for them. So it was kind of, you know, on the cheap and stuff, but it was really fun to do. We just did little things and it, you know, it helped everybody see. The thing is, if you do costumes that move a certain way and there are certain colors, it helps the animators and the people doing that work visualize something they might not be coming up with, which was a really interesting challenge of that movie and something I really enjoyed about it. You know, learning, dipping into that world more. I sat, you know, with this artist and did the sisters designs with him like combining human and fish and it was really a great learning you know a new learning experience for me which is great 